What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales of Crystoria video. So, those who are paying attention to, I actually didn't cover this last night because uh, I was just super tired and totally out of it, so the video just didn't happen uh, for the teaser, but they did tease the next unit uh, on Twitter last night, so if you're not on Twitter, you won't have seen what it would be. But um, it's Phoenix, um, the secret boss from, I guess you could call him Secret, or Extra Boss, from Tales of Berseria, and also the little uh, Norman that sits on Edna's parasol in Zestiria. He is the next EX summon, so we're going to go over him real quick. This isn't going to be a long video at all, because I don't think there's much to really talk about here. Uh, it looks like... Uh, we're getting a... Why? It's weird that they're doing Christmas. Uh... Archie and the normal Saray. I guess because they're both wind. Uh, but there's going to be raid up for them, so if you want them, you definitely have uh, the opportunity to do that. Uh, and then let's go ahead and just look at him. So, unfortunately, because it is Phoenix, um, there was no, re no way he was not going to be fire. So we have yet another uh, fire EX unit, while I think... Does every element have... Before we go into his details, let me see how we're looking on uh, EX units and elements, because we might have every color. I'm not sure if water has one. So let's go to the codex real quick. Let's go to characters I don't have, because there's only a few. Water doesn't have one. Um, you can just see it right there. I have it filtered for... Um, but let's... I wish there was a filter for EX units, but uh, let's just go to Unacquired, uh, which I have a lot of Unacquired now. I, I was pretty caught up for a while, but let's just look at the EXs in here. So Douse is Light, uh, Barbados is Dark, Sync is Wind, so that's a second Wind EX, uh, because uh, Mecha Asbel was the other one. Uh, Mecha Asbel, what else for EXs? She Grays Earth. Yeah, so... This is our third, I believe our third fire, because, um, yeah, none of you are EXs, and then if I go to the ones I have, I have Mew and, uh, Leon, who are both fire, so fire is getting all the love right now when it comes to EX units, uh, unfortunately, so I really don't have a reason to summon for this, uh, Phoenix, but we'll take a look at him anyway. Maybe I'll throw one multi, because there's a decent amount of EXs now, so I could possibly get somebody. By the way, it totally just feels like uh, Shigure literally just left. Which he did, he left at like the end of March. Uh, I forget when his banner went away, but it, it wasn't that long ago when he dropped with Rokuro. Alright, so let's look at him. So he's dropping Monday, April 12th, and he's sticking around till the 19th. Now, here's the thing I want to mention. There will definitely be another banner before uh, Phoenix goes away. So if you want to wait to see what's good, what two units are going to come next, they're most likely going to be a normal banner, a non-seasonal banner. So it'll probably be two SSRs of characters we don't have yet. Uh, very possibly, they could even be characters who don't even have SRs yet. So um, it might be a good idea to wait for summoning on Norman for that. Because when does the... Um I guess the easiest thing is to just look at the banner. Uh, the banner leaves in six days, so on the 15th, roughly, 15th, 16th, will be when uh, Ludger and Farrah's banner goes away and we'll get something new, and then the day after that should be the uh, following event. So if you want to wait for that, it'll still give you, you know, two or three days to summon for Phoenix if you decide you don't want to summon there. Um, so there you go. Uh, let's take a look at Phoenix and what he does. So his Memoria has 23,000 HP, 700 attack, 1,000 defense. So he's HP heavy. Uh, and his Memoria restores 10% HP uh, of fire allies each turn. Uh, so whoever has that equipped, that's going to be very, very nice. Um, surprisingly, despite the fact his Memoria doesn't give a lot of attack, he still has decent uh, attack. Uh, so he's got 31,200 HP, 4920 attack, and 3960 defense. So he's pretty high in attack. And then, you know, with his mo with his Memoria, you know, you're setting above 50,000 HP. Uh, spreading my wings is his skill. 35% attack to martial arts type allies, which 
I don't know that there's another martial arts type fire unit that's an SSR, so it's really just gonna be uh, for him, unless you're running like multicolored teams, in which case his skill will actually uh, be very helpful. Um, let's take a look at his art. So, Surging Ascent, 420%, one hit, one enemy. Uh, additional effect restores uh, HP of self by 50%. That's pretty much what he does. You know, it's his mystic art he uses in Berseria when you're fighting him. Uh, bird Transformation, 170%, four hits, one enemy. 100% chance to increase attack of self by 20% for three turns. Uh, so he only has one... Um, art that increases his attack so you can't do it like infinitely and then the second art is 100 phoenix fist 220 percent 11 hits one enemy so very very cool there um so yeah another ex unit to kind of add to the list so it's it's growing i'd say it's almost becoming you know useful to summon on ex banners considering how many there are but i still think it's still like there's still not a ton and then what we are we sitting at like 10 now let's just take a look at how many we're actually going to be sitting at uh before we go ahead and get out of here so let's take a look so uh for ex units these are the actually the only two i have uh is it funny enough is leon and mew i believe um let's just take a look real quick leon mew uh yep they are the only ex units i have so that's two right there Uh, so that's two. She Grace three. Um, Mecha Asbel is four. Sink, Barbados, that's six. Seven with Douse. Uh, oh, so that, wait, am I doing my math right? One, two, three. Four. Five. So yeah, there's like eight now. I guess there's not as many as I thought. So, yeah, there's eight. So, I think once we get to ten, uh, you know, it'll be pretty useful because you have a chance to get one you wouldn't have. Like, even right now, it's still just, like, I still would have, like, a six out of eight chance if I pull an EX unit that it's going to be, you know, one of these, which, uh, overall, I think the EX unit I'd probably want the most would be, like, definitely not Phoenix because he's fire and even though he's pretty decent i'm really looking for other colors so maybe like douse or uh sink would probably be ones i i'd really want but um yeah so we're still I i'm guessing we'll probably have a total of 10 by the one year anniversary because obviously you don't count the limited units as ex units because they're different they're not as you know strong or crazy as ex units um, plus, EX units are saved mostly for, like, boss characters or unique characters, as we've seen so far. So, like, the only non-boss characters are, ironically, the ones that I have are Mew and Fire Leon. Because Fire Leon is a unique Crestoria unit, uh, using Stan as his sword. And then Mew is obviously not a villain, he's a companion, but he's Luke, part of his uh, Mystic Art. And then all the other characters here are pretty much, except for like Mecha Asbel, um, are pretty much just boss characters, you know. Shigure, boss, Douse, boss, Barbados, boss, Sink, boss. Um, so yeah, it's mostly for unique characters. So you're not going to see like, um, you know, if Yuri got an EX unit, it would probably be like, his Mystic Art would be like a dual Mystic Art with like Flynn or something, or... If they did something specific in Crestoria where he had, like, a special power or weapon. Uh, something like that. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about Phoenix down below. Let me know if you're going to be summoning. Probably not going to throw anything, especially since I don't know what's going to come, you know, a few days uh, after this banner goes live. Because this banner goes live on the 12th. And if the current banner goes away on the 15th, probably the night that sync drops we're probably going to get our if not the night the night after we'll get our reveal for the next banner so it's basically going to be two banners dropping next week we'll have the phoenix banner and then at the end of the week we will get the uh the next event banner whoever's going to be on that so I'll keep an eye out on that i'm also trying to save for the one year anniversary um because the one year anniversary will be in the middle of july and it is currently the beginning of april so we're like pretty much exactly three months away from the anniversary 
and to make sure the way the pity system worked for the half anniversary for these limited units was you needed like 42,500 uh, gleam stones so I want to make sure I'm going to have at least that when it comes around in case because it, it's probably going to be like demon vicious and cascade are probably going to be two of the anniversary units I would assume uh, and demon vicious would be my main priority for that so uh, if I had to go to the pity for him I want to make sure I'm going to be able to do so um, plus you know if I wait that long with how many units I don't have as you can see right here we got three rows was there eight on each row so that's 8, 16, that's 24 SSRs in the game total that I don't have. Um, so getting a lot, besides the, the like, what, 4 EX units you see right here, the other 20 SSRs, I would not mind pulling any of these, uh, you know, unfeatured. Um, you know, a lot of them are very, very decent. I, I, I assume everyone you see here will probably be in the general pool. Uh, well, they should be because it's so far back. Uh, by the time the anniversary banner comes. It really should only be like the banner before the anniversary or like the two banners before the anniversary that those characters might not be in the general pool. Because we did see uh, Christmas, Mila, Sophie, and uh, Archie were not in the half anniversary banner because their banner had literally just left. But uh, that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe tomorrow if you're new to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.